Hello guys, my name is Squidlet, and today I want to talk about Momo City. Now, lots of other bigger YouTubers have already done really well and put videos on Momo City, but if you don't know anything about Momo City yet, Momo City, as described to you by the creator, basically aims to be like a cross between a dress-up game and Animal Crossing and or a dress-up game in Sims 4. Basically, a lifestyle dressed up game. And this topic, like I said, has already been well covered by other bigger YouTubers. So then the question would come into play, then why am I making a video on it? And to answer that question, it's because A, I have a great interest in Momo City's project, and B, because I wanted to talk about Momo City's wait time. Now, Momo City's estimated wait time for when this game is going to be released is really unknown. But it sounds like the creator estimates, only estimates, that this game could take a year or longer. And of course, when a lot of people, or at least a good handful of people heard that, you know, it was immediate sighs, disappointment, and a uh, year wait or longer. That's such a long time. Oh, that's so far out there. And yeah, I can understand that. However, I would have to say that I think it would be well worth the wait. Simply immerse yourself in other things for the time being and keep in follow with the project because if this game does succeed, I have a feeling that this is really going to be a lot of fun if this game succeeds. And I say this because how often do you see a Roblox game like this that puts this much ambition and work into their dress-up game project and tries to make it something that the dress-up platform hasn't experienced yet. Just look at the character and the design and a lot of these creations that are being posted on their Twitter and their TikTok, which by the way, their Twitter will be linked in my description. I've seen a lot of dress-up games and while I have no ill feelings for toward them, and a lot of them are super fun and super pretty and I enjoy them a lot, I just, I can very easily quickly lose interest in them because they usually have the same base to them. The base to them being a couple, a handful of mini games to earn currency, dress up and collecting, and socializing. And that usually winds up being the main point of most of these dress-up games. Which isn't a bad thing. People can do with their game whatever they want and create it however they want. But it's just refreshing to see a game offer something new, something that isn't so heavily reliant on socializing. Because for me personally, I really don't like to talk to people. It's not because I'm shy or anything. I'm just, I'm very antisocial. It doesn't seem like that way on camera, but I don't like to talk to people unless it's briefly over the internet. I really don't like it. So now that we got a new game project on its way that's offering something different from what a lot of these other dress up games have, it gets me excited. It makes me believe that if the Momo project, uh, Momo City project succeeds and does exactly what they hope to do, then I really think that this is going to make a huge splash on the dress up game industry and be well worth the wait. Because as many of you know, the more time they spend developing on the game, the more they can patch glitches, refine it, and make it super enjoyable and playable for all. So, that is why I think Momo City will be more than worth the year wait. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later.